So I'm trying something a little bit different here with my Glinda the Good Witch. I printed this just, um, it's an image off the internet and I just printed it in color on an inkjet printer on computer paper and then I've got my big jelly plate so I'm going to try something fun. I'm using fluid acrylic in white to just get a thin layer. Oops, that's kind of a lot but that's alright. To get a thin layer on my jelly plate of paint and from what I understand the thinner the better on your acrylic paints for this so hopefully this will work we're trying something fun okay so I got my paint and now I'm going to put my image face down I'm going to get her crown and see if I can make a print from my inkjet image. And let's see what happened. I hope it didn't work. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is use my jelly plate and put down some paint colors. I don't have enough paint do that where I don't use quite enough paint. I'm always afraid to get too much and get it too thick, but if you use too little, then it's too little. That's better because you need a really nice layer of paint for this technique. And you want to use colors that don't uh, that complement each other. You don't want to use colors that when you mix them, it makes mud. So be careful about that. And now I'm going to use some rubber stamps and stamp some images in here. And some lace. Okay, and I'm going to make my print right on my page, right in my journal. So here's my cool printed background. Oh, I like it. It's very fun. And then with what was left on the plate, I went ahead and did the other side and just did the ghost print. So it makes a great background. The easiest way to clean the paint off your stamps is to use one of these. It's a rubber stamp scrubber. It's got these little, this little uh, textured stuff in here. And you can just... Um, spray some water and rub them back and forth and it gets the paint off of your stamp. So now I've printed out an image off the internet of Glinda the Good Witch and I've trimmed her out and I'm going to put her down on my jelly plate. I just fussy cut her out and I'm going to stick her down. And then I'm going to come in with a darker color of paint and my brayer. Oops, come on. 
Work with me here, girl. Because what I want is a silhouette. I want her shape. on the print. Okay. Now when you peel this off, I have her silhouette shape. And I can come back in with my book that I already did a background on and lay it down over that. Press it down. And if it comes out right, you should have Glinda's silhouette. Well, my camera battery pooped out, and so you missed a step here. Um, what I did was I took that image that I used face down to make this silhouette and I used a Posca pen in white to go around the silhouette just to make it stand out a little bit more and I love it, it looks so cool. And instead of throwing away that image, I went ahead and took some matte medium and I put matte medium down and I put her down. I love that the white paint over it from that initial attempt to make a uh, image print that it muted her down. I loved it. Instead of throwing it away, I put it down and I love that the paint from doing the silhouette kind of outlined it a little bit. It just it just turned out really cool. So one of the things I used to teach when I uh, taught at the scrapbook store was that there isn't a mistake. When you're making art and you're playing and you're enjoying yourself, sometimes your best laid plans and your idea doesn't turn out how you envisioned it but sometimes mistakes turn out even better and I love this. I love that she's muted down. I just think that is so cool looking. So that's what you missed. I matte gel medium down the image. I did my silhouette and I went around it with a Posca pen. So now what I'm going to do, I want to add some words over here inside the silhouette and I'm just using some um, making memories word letter rub-ons. They're just letter rub-ons and I don't even know if they make these anymore. I'll check and see but they're they fan out and they're just letters that you rub on and so I'm going to do that over here. So if you've never used rub-ons you just um, peel off the tissue paper off the back. The side that's shiny goes face down on your image and then you just um, take something and rub across this because obviously it's a rub on and it will lay down the letter onto your image. I used to have these in scrapbooking so I figured I might as well use them up. So I'm going to put the words be good over here because obviously we have a choice in life of whether or not we want to be naughty or if we want to be good and this is Glenda, Glinda the good witch. So I'm putting the words be good over here. So here is my silhouette and the words be good rubbed on. I love it. It's cute. So now what I'm going to do next is I'm taking um, my rubber stamps. I'm going to stamp on the saying with my snap together letter set. The you always had the power my dear you just had to learn it for yourself. That is um, Glinda's catch phrase. So I'm going to um, use these and what you do is you just snap them together. They're so easy to use like this and then when you stamp them your letters are perfectly straight and I'm going to put that saying right down here. I'm using Ranger Black Ranger Archival Ink and I'm going to go in here and just stamp this right on the page. I love these things because it makes your stamping your words so easy. Just so simple because they line up and snap together. I just think that's makes it so easy. 
And then I take them and with my stamp scrubber, do the same thing. I've got a little bit of water here and I just rub them off. It cleans them super easy. The other cool thing about them is they only snap together one way so you never get your letters upside down or wrong with the little wooden ones sometimes you accidentally stamp things upside down so that's the other cool thing about these snap together stamps so here's my stamp saying you always had the power my dear you just had to learn it for yourself and then i wrote glinda the good witch so there's her saying and now the last thing I want to do, just because I, I used black on both the pages, it needs some black somewhere. So I'm going to take a black Stabilo and I'm just going to go around and uh, add some Stabilo shading behind this image to just add some black in and maybe a little bit over here too or maybe around the edges. And then this page is done. There will be a Glinda the Good Witch digital stamp in my Etsy shop if you're interested in purchasing an image to use if you want to do a different type of a page and uh, color it or add it to your page in a different way so that's an option they're a dollar if you're interested no obligation I didn't use one on this page I used a printed image off the internet so just you know do whatever you want use what you have be creative and please join the facebook group and show me what you're doing play along and show me what pages you're creating in your journal i added some finishing details to the page i went around my glinda with a black stabilo pencil and then used a water brush to blend it out I also use Spectrum Noir Glitter Ink. I love this stuff. It's got a ball bearing in it. And I brushed it on her wings and on her wand just to add some, and down her crown a little bit, just to add a little bit of glimmer to it. I used a Prismacolor brush pen on the brush end to make a frame around my saying, and I chose a color that was already done in paint so it would blend in. And I used Tim Holtz Distress Ink in black soot around the border edge and then I use black golden fluid acrylic paint and a fine brush to do some splatters on the page. Wizard of Oz April Challenge Daily Prompt is so much fun. So thanks for playing along and thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. Arts is the heart. <laughs>